because when you flip the coin for the woman, you have to flip the coin 10 times before you get a bad one. So who are you trusting with your kid? Who's, who are you trusting your kid with? Uh, so it's like, and yes, the other 50% of men who are the good men, what are they good for? <laughs> a lot. They do a lot of good things in the world. So, you know, they're the types where, you know, Chris Hansen, for example, okay? He is one good man, okay? So he's part of the 50% that represent, uh, you know, the hero. He's a hero, right? Women, if you said who who's a hero to you, you know, for men, who are your male heroes? They're going to start naming off people like Chris Hansen, Steve Irwin. I'm going to think of my heroes. <laughs> heroes, heroes. It's hard to think, but those are good enough. Um, and so, who did I say? Steve Irwin and... Whatever. You know, I would trust Steve Irwin with my life if he was still... Actually, I definitely would not trust Steve Irwin with my life because, you know, he was a crazy motherfucker. <laughs> but you know I would trust him to save me from a crocodile that is unbelievable like if there was a crocodile attacking me who do you think would save me a woman or Steve Irwin Steve Irwin is my hero But I'm just saying, like, you know, being a man is amazing because you have actually the strength to back up to be a hero. Women don't have strength to just say, like, you know, like women to be a hero, we have to come in with like a, a crowbar and, you know, be, oh, crowbar is good enough. If a woman comes in with a crowbar, you know, she can come in and be the hero. But a man doesn't need that. A man can be a hero just like, here I am. You know what I mean? And it's like, so it's like, it's so much more, you know, wonderful when you can have a man step up to be that type of person to, you know, protect the kids, to protect everybody. Because not a lot of men, especially these days, are, you know, stepping up to look after women and children. <sighs> which sucks. Instead, they want to just hate on them online and say that our problems don't exist. And it's like, well, we're not saying that about your problems. I would only trust men that have known to have very high integrity for decades. Didn't, didn't Dan Schneider have high integrity for decades, probably? I used to babysit and I would never do anything untoward me. Probably not. Yeah, a lot of, uh, yeah, it's a 50-50, right? You're going to have 50% of men who are, you know, uh, who do terrible things and the other 50% who do great things. So, you know, and again, it's not like everybody does the bad stuff. But we have to protect the kids and the women from the bad ones and the men too. Like I said, prison scenario, whatever, like men are oftentimes and more oftentimes uh, victimized by other men. Um, you know, to the point where, you know, you could die, you know, in a, in a fight. 
And it's very violent when two men are, you know. Then you gotta go to jail. That'll be a great mom someday. Um, trust is hard to earn and easy to lose in your brain. Yeah. Um, forgiveness is always offered to those worthy. The worst thing you ever did was not letting them have ice cream before bed. But ice cream keeps them up. Uh, and back with the teeth. Trust is only earned, yes. It's true. No, I was speaking about real statistics. It's 47%, technically. 47% of men have self-voted to say that they uh, commit terrible acts towards women or children. 47%. That's including, like, beating them up, abusing them, verbally assaulting them, graping them, all that jazz. 47% self-voted that they do that. That's bad. That means there's probably more than that. That's bad. That means don't trust your kids with, like, a random man. That's what that means. It also means that 53% of men have voted that they don't do those things and that they will protect women and children. So more men are good than bad by those statistics. So it's like, I don't know why you guys get so defensive, but it's just like, get over it, bro. Like, fucking put your ego aside. Like, I don't give a fuck if you're insulted or not. Like, there's nothing sexist going on 